Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's Financial Friday is gonna be talking about your closet, you see? <laughs> Today is actually just a lazy Sunday for me. I obviously pre-film these because I have a like normal job and then I do this on the side, but I wanted to show you guys, I was actually just gonna clean out my closet myself and I was like, wait a minute, I have a plan for what I'm gonna do with this stuff, so I might as well just share with you guys. My actual plan for what I'm gonna do is I have places in my area like Plato's Closet and Clothes Mentor. I will leave those links down below for you guys. I am not sure in your area what you have, but it's basically just a brand name clothing retailer that will buy back used or sometimes even new items with the tag still on it. So if I haven't totally beat it up, they might take it. It has to be like in season. There's a bunch of other different parameters, but I figured I would show you how I clean out my closet. If you guys have been watching me for a little while, you will know back in July, I actually moved into this home and I have accumulated some things since then clothing wise and I found some things that I didn't even realize I had so that's hap that happens in the process of unpacking I feel like so the reason I knew I was running low is because I was or not running low the reason I knew I was gaining a lot more things is because I was running out of hangers and I make a rule for myself to never buy any new hangers ever because then I know I have way too much stuff and I'm kind of at that cap right now so it's time to purge the closet, see if there's any fun things that I can find that I don't need anymore. I also have two big ol' container store bags. I've got one inside of here as well for discards. I'm also making a little pile for my mom as well because there might be some items that she really what might like. So I figured I would give her first crack at it and then if she didn't want them then I would, you know, take them to the buyback. Place. So without further ado, let me take you off the tripod. Let me show you around and I'll show you the befores and then I'll put this guy back on the tripod and just speed up the footage because people tend to like that stuff. So big financial tip for the day, don't buy new hangers. And if you're running out of hanger space, find one of those clothing buyback places and maybe you'll get some money back for your things that you were gonna donate anyways. Also, if for any reason the place does not take the items that I'm going to give them, I will actually donate them to like a Goodwill, Salvation Army, wherever is close. Um, usually there's like a donation box somewhere close to these places. So anyway, let me take you off the tripod. Let me show you around. Okay, so here is my closet. I know if you guys have watched the vlogs, you would have remembered this. On the left hand side, I'm not really gonna do much with the stuff over here. Um, mainly I'm gonna be focusing on this rack right here, as well as this rack and this rack. And really what I wanna do is these are all my tops for the most part. I wanna put them up there. And <laughs> those things that are just sitting there, I don't have hangers for. Actually, I'm lying. There's four hangers right there and that's it and I've got way more than four things <laughs> over here so I gotta make some choices. Also in the corner over here are just some blankets. The way I have my closet organized is this is kind of all my casual wear and then I have like more of my casual pants so like sweat plants with sweat plants wow sweat pants and um like I don't know just like windbreaker pants kind of a situation. I also have my jewelry right here, which nothing is fancy. It's just kind of costumey jewelry. Down here, I have all of like my jeans and leggings. And then over here, I've got some like shorts and then it starts my pajamas. And then these two new things I actually just got at Nordstrom, which I'm not getting rid of, but they're kind of like that casual like sweatshirty kind of a thing. Without further ado, I am going to get started on this and I hope you guys enjoy the video. This will all be gone by the time I am done with this. Okay, future Emily, speed up the footage.
Okay, so I am all done with the closet clean out. Like I said, I was just gonna focus on the stuff that was down there, which is now transferred up there. And then over here and over here, I didn't really go through any of my shoes or socks, undergarments, all of that, like that stuff. I'm just gonna, that stuff really just doesn't need to be weeded through is really what that is. I filled up an entire one bag like these big bags from the container store, but I figured I would show you what I'm gonna do here because I've got a bunch of maybes. So this is all LuLaRoe stuff, like right here. And to be completely honest, sorry about the shadowing, the light is like really bad in here. I have not worn any of those in probably about a year. So if I don't wear them in the next month or two, they're gonna go. Cause a lot of it is like fall colors. So if I don't feel the need to gravitate towards them in the next month or so, they're going. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about that. Um, I do have a couple of blazers. I only have three blazers right now and I'm not getting rid of any of those cause I do wear them from time to time. And then I do have my scarves over there which I did not weed through any of those. Oh, if you're interested in the hangers that I use, I will uh, leave an Amazon link below for you guys. The way I organize my closet, if you guys are interested, is by category and color. So I do all of my like tank tops first, and these are the tank tops that I typically wear like under something, and then I will go to like sleeveless in color category, something with a sleeve, short sleeves. Then starting right here is three quarter length, and then we go into long sleeves. And these are more, like this whole section is more things I would wear to work. So can be used for casual and can be used for more dressy. And then over here, to be honest, I didn't weed through a ton of this stuff because it's all still good. This is kind of like my bumming around the house stuff. So again, sleeveless short sleeve which i have quite a bit of short sleeve i have like one three quarter and then i go into long sleeve which randomly this is a long sleeve thing i do actually wear this in the winter when it's like super super cold to bed so i don't know but anyway love all of this stuff i actually got rid of a couple of pants in here and then this is where my leggings were these are like the only legging, like, like LuLaRoe leggings that I'm like for sure, for sure keeping. So there's like a really, really light steel gray, a heathered gray, and then a couple of kind of like more black and white and cream patterns. And that's it for the LuLaRoe stuff. And then this is a bunch of other random stuff. I do actually have a couple of pairs of pants. Hard to see, but they're right there. I need to hang those up. A couple pairs of jeans and a couple pairs of other types of leggings that I love way more than LuLaRoe, but that's okay. But I am actually really happy with the way that all of the stuff looks on the top now. And I feel like the bottom can just be for hangers or other storage or whatever. Yeah, I think the stuff on the bottom is gonna kind of force me to, you know, make some decisions when I'm getting ready in the morning because I feel like I tend to wear the same things over and over and over and over and over because it's easy and it's out because I just ran it through the laundry, you know? So I think giving me 30 days on that is gonna be an eye-opener and I'm kind of looking at it now going, hmm, will I even want to wear any of that stuff in 30 days? I don't know. But if I don't, it's just gonna go away. All right, so that is it for my video. I will insert right here because it's a Sunday and this video is not gonna go up till Friday. I will insert down here how much money I ended up getting for ugh, all the stuffs that I brought over. Um, normally they don't you know, give you a ton of money, but if you can get anything for things that you were gonna donate anyways, you know, why the heck not? So I'll insert a little thing and let you know how much I ended up getting, but um, most of the stuff that I have is, I don't know, I wouldn't say it's all brand name. I mean, there's a bunch, there's tons of stuff from Target and other things too, so, uh, yeah, you never, you never know, but why not try to kind of upcycle and let someone else reuse them? Plus, anything that they don't take, I am going to be donating to either Goodwill or some other place like that. So that is going to be it for this Financial Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below. Also, let me know if you guys have any tips or tricks for organizing your closet or cleaning out your closet on a regular basis. I would love to know down below. That's it from me. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Give the video a thumbs up if 
you liked it and also make sure to subscribe I'm here every Monday Wednesday and Friday with new content for you guys so hopefully you guys are having a great day no matter where you are and I will talk to you in my next video bye guys